Hello and welcome to new video. Today we're going to take a look at the top teams for the Open Master League. The Open Master League going to be back together with the Master League Premier Cup. I already made a video earlier today for the top teams for the Premier Cup, so if you're more interested in that, take a look at that one. And we're going to take a look today at the top teams for the Open Master League. There are going to be some more interesting Pokemon coming in there. One going to be the Groudon with Abrasable Blades here, which is going to be the new charge move, which you can only currently get if you're going to go ahead and go to Las Vegas for the in-person event. Makes this Pokemon though very very strong. We're still going to take a look at this Pokemon as well in a team, just specifically with the new charge move here. Um, even though most people won't be able to get it now, it might be interesting for later. Same goes for Kyogre, which I don't even see it there, it's down below. With Origin Pulse, not a bigger upgrade, like not a big upgrade there, but still kind of an interesting move to take a look at it. And we also have a team with that one here. And also another Pokemon where we have a team for it. it's going to be Rayquaza. This Pokemon will be available with a new move, Breaking Swipes, which currently is in the game as a Dragon Claw clone, which also debuffs the opponent's attack by one stage, as far as I know. So a very, very strong fast uh, charge move there. Currently not in P Poke yet, but we're still going to take a look at this one as well, because it's going to be a, one of the strongest new Pokemon as well. Going to showcase this one on my channel as well. Still have to grind the XL Kenny as soon as it comes out though, so it might take me a little bit to get it to level 50. But otherwise, this is going to be it for the meta analysis here. It's going to be basically the same stuff that you see otherwise. Um, like the Kyurem, now going to be also very good with Glaciate. We have a team with that. Solgaleo, I skipped out because most people don't have that. I would be able to get build one, but like mine has horrible IV, so I'm not going to do this. Same with Meloetta here. Meloetta is actually a very cool Pokemon to use, but I don't have the good IV version of this one, and I'm not going to build one with horrible IVs. But yeah, let's go right into the teams. First team here going to be around the new Groudon with the two legacy charge moves actually you need two elite teams if you like get a new ground on without the pressable blades of like from other events you need two of them so um yeah fire punch plus pressable blades definitely a better upgrade to this pokemon here very strong pokemon now I actually rank one on the um boards there i think for it as well we're going to have here the say swap zacian actually i think i didn't put it in there both like um player i think it's currently in there but i think that maybe even the move a wild charge might be interesting to take a look at uh, maybe even over the move close combat because play rough also also kind of nice to have here But um, what they can kind of can do here is it's just a very good pivot It's just very good as a six up here that will allow you also with wild charge to hit ho -Oh, which is a core breaker And then you can either go for the funny way which was behind Naya Ligo in the back Which would make you very weak to uh, Kyogre though or, or you go for the safe way, which would be then with the Dialga in the back. The next team going to be around Breaking Swipes version of Rayquaza. If you don't have that, well, it's not released yet, but it's going to be released like in a few days as well, like before the Master League ends as well. Um, you can of course use the Dragonite as well, making it the best non-XL, uh, non-XL, non-legendary team for the uh, Master League here. With Dragonite slash Rayquaza in the lead, safe swap of the Excadrill, and in the back we're going to have here the uh, Metagross. Safe swap Excadrill is really cool, especially actually against Kyogre. They have to throw a charge move really to prevent you to get a shield advantage, which is wild actually. And if you get out the Kyogre, you can farm down with the Elite, as well as you're going to have the um, Pokemon in the back with the Metagross here safe from that one. Very cool team here. Um, the thing is where maybe Dragonite is a little bit better is super power against like other Excadrills because other Excadrills might be a little bit of an issue for this team. Otherwise, still should be fine. There are mostly some other variants that you can also play. But um, yeah, the breaking swipes are not very crazy. are going to be insanely strong. The next team going to be around Origin Pulse Kyogre here. And we're going to have actually a very cool team that you can flip around completely. You can also use the Dialga in the lead. Going to have the safe swap always of Lugia and the Kyogre in the back. Or you can use the Kyogre in the lead. Say so, Lugia and the Dialga in the back. So, like, it really depends on what you face and what you want to play. Both of the versions are very, very fine. There's not a lot that really hard was that one. Um, all does make a lot of sense. Maybe the Dialga lead might be a little bit better now if Groudon becomes more common because then you have two good Groudon answers in the back there, which might help out a little bit. Lugia has a say swap, insanely strong. Recently, not really in raids. Hope that it comes back because I need some XL candy for this Pokemon as well still. But one of the best Pokemon for the Master League if you have it available for you. Otherwise, you can also use Mewtwo as a safe swap, but Lugia is just the better one. And we can go right into the next team. Next up, we're going to have a very strong ABB line here with either Giratina in the lead. You can also use theoretically Ho-Oh in the lead, but I think Giratina might be a little bit better with the current Mera. Both of them are fine. 
I think actually Altered is might be a little bit better though. Altered Giratina is way underrated for the Master League. We're going to have the say of the Zacian again, which is always a very good say up especially if you want to have another fairy type in the back, which either the Florges or the Torques or the Sylveon. Um, all of them are fine. All of them should work out pretty well. And I think this team definitely is one of the better ones that you can play right now. Actually, what like if you have a Florges, I would rather use the Florges nowadays compared to the Torques because at least recently I feel like that the Nerf of Charm really hurt this Pokemon, so maybe try to go for Florges instead. Next team here going to be a team that I think played as well myself before when um, we had the no XL version of this league still, but we're going to have the Dialga in the lead, we're going to have the Landorus as a safe and the Exit Drill in the back. This team is pretty neutral against Zacian usually, um, everything is kind of neutral against this one. We have a lead that can deal very very well with all those water type Pokemon, which is basically just Kyogre and maybe a Primarina. Um, and then we're going to have the exit drill in the back that hopefully doesn't uh, really have to encounter this. Seisop here, of course, Alandorus, one of the best Seisops in the meta. Being able to hit Stone Edge, being able to force shields against a lot of Pokemon, winning every CMP basically, I think even gets Mewtwo in this meta is kind of wild. And yeah, very strong Pokemon, very underrated, and let's go into the next team. Next team here going to be around Melmetal. Melmetal is right now a little bit underrated, but also a little bit underused in the Master League for certain reasons. It's not really the best Pokemon anymore, but it's still a fun one to use. Combination between Melmetal and the Dragonite is basically perfect, so it's like something that you kind of want to take a look at. Mewtwo as a say so should work out pretty well, but what is really cool about Melmetal and why you might want to build one is we're very likely going to be able to get a new charge move for this Pokemon, Double Iron Bash, which is a stick and Shot shots move very soon. I saw some leaks. I don't know if they're correct or not. They are usually are correct, and we're most likely going to be able to get a double iron bash metal metal around the end of the next month. I think the 21st or something. So might be interesting for you to take a look at. I also know like the leak was pretty pretty wide about a lot of events coming up. So I don't really want to make a video about it yet, but there's a lot of things coming up for Pokemon Go, which is going to be interesting also for the Go Battle League. So Let's go into the next team. Next team here, we're going to have the Metagross in the lead. We're going to have the Seisop of the Snorlax and the Beware in the back. Beware is actually way, way more fun than you might expect. Payback plus superpower here. And we could also have, instead of that, the Kyurem. Kyurem is also very good with this team as well. Kyurem is a very strong Pokemon, a very strong Ice Dragon type Pokemon, not with Glaciate. A very underrated Pokemon as well. Very, very strong to use. The thing is, here we have the lead, which is able to beat basically the Zacian plus the Alga core. We have a Seisop of Snorlax, which is very neutral and we have basically two pokemon or like in general always two pokemon in the back that can can completely destroy the giratina and that's basically the main idea behind it like the elite really lose hard against giratina and with for example beware plus snorlax you also have access to fighting type moves that will be able to destroy something like an excadrill and it gives you just a lot of courage so i really enjoy this team i'm most likely going to take a look at this team again as well and let's go into the next one the next team going to be centered around mammal swine a pokemon that wins nearly every lead really like this pokemon has such insane matchups just because of the insane typing that it has being able to hit stuff with like flying types with the ice typing and steel types with the ground typing is very nice. Seisop here, Mewtwo, very strong Seisop in general, and like the OG Dialga on the back, very classic team, still should work out pretty well, and I like to use it myself as well sometimes, especially you have a good answer for water types in the back, and the Memo Swine in the lead for it. Palkia is most likely the hardest answer to something like Kyogre, which most likely will be a little bit more common in the future, also something like um, Ho-Oh doesn't really want to face it either. Going to be a very good lead in the current meta here, we're going to have the Seisop of the Dacian, which is going to be, of course, always going to be a very good Seisop there, but also good against other um, dragon types. This is the thing that Palkia kind of struggles against, especially against a Dialga. You have to have to have two good answers for Dialga in the back here, which we have with Exodol or the um, Metagross, plus the Zacian Seisop here as well. But Palkia itself, very cool Pokemon. Actually way underrated as well. Don't really see it too often, but a very strong Pokemon that can also deal damage against something like Exodol very nicely there with the Aqua Tail as well. So very strong Pokemon to use. Final team here, we're going to have a team with the Landers theory and form in the lead. We have the Seisop of Giratina and the Dialga there in the back. Basically, Giratina's Seisop is actually kind of underrated as well in this meta. Very strong Seisop in this meta. Even the Dialga comes to, like, jumps in there, doesn't really have the greatest matchup either, even though their moves are super effective against it. Giratina charges very fast to the Shadow Ball, which helps it out a ton. And the Landorus in the lead there is really weak to, like, something like Ice on Water type. Ice, of course, can still be an issue, but against something like Water types, you will have a very good answer there in the back with the Giratina and the Dialga. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know in the comment section what are you going to do for this week. Are you going to play? Are you going to skip that? We have triple starters, so I would at least recommend you to try to play, especially if you hit Legend already. Just try to get the 
one win. Try to claim that one there and try to maybe tank a little bit or whatever, but really helps to get Stardust this week. I don't really want to spend any Stardust on this meta right now because there's a lot coming up in Pokemon Go, let me tell you that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!